Well, from Sorrento in Italy, yeah, they're originally British. British one. Yeah. Can you tell us more or less what happened, how the children especially uh, reacted? The children knew nothing was wrong, really, except for on the lifeboat. They were very sick yes. and fortunately fell asleep. Right. So we got off the Achille Lauro without a scratch, and we got on the oil tanker without a scratch, and we got on here without a scratch, and we're not complaining about anything. The people there were in it, it was terrible. And then uh, some could go into the lifeboats, and the lifeboats tried, the, the, the lifeboats, they were in the water, they tried to, to, to free these boats, but they came down. But the people had to go up a ladder, a, a rope ladder, you know, even old people had to go up again and and uh, then the lifeboats were put down to water and then they had to 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 go down on a on a rope you know it it was it's, it's a miracle that uh, we are no more uh, dead about quarter past one we had some noise such a big noise going about and i thought to myself what the hell they doing yeah. this time yeah. of the morning so i went out and they were saying it's a fire fire so I just managed to go in the inside, grab a jacket, and I went away with a pyjama. But the, the smoke was coming out. So I saw another lady with a life jacket in there. And the door was already closed, the big door. And we managed to bang, but it was iron door. And anyway, after we found a way to open it, we went on the top of the ship, we went in there. And then, after, the, after a bit, the smoke coming out from the windows as well. The windows they were all closed, but through all round the edge, all the smoke coming out. And we don't know what to do. We were choking ourselves in there. And we arrived on scene. You could just see a bright little glow on the horizon. And we could see uh, the merchant all lit up and the people on that ship. Uh, it took us about 12 hours to get there. On the way there, we were giving up our blankets making sandwiches, loading up eggs, doing everything we could, putting them in the helo, and they were healing them over there and providing the people. When uh, first light came, we seen all the lifeboats in the water, then we started small boat transfer, bringing people on here, and we were giving up our shirts, our pants, you know, socks, underwear, anything we could for these people. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Excuse me, guys. It's okay. I sure as heck would have thought they'd want that rib in there a little bit.